Timbo is back. Timbo's back. Do you see Timbo on the show yesterday? I saw highlights. I saw yeah, highlights. he was he great. He mentioned me a couple times. Thank you so much for coming. Always man, good to see it. you. Where's uh? Oh yeah, I'm mic'd up. What, what, you, what do you need? You need time? Oh no, no. I thought I was like I no, no, need one good. of those, but yeah, I'm mic'd we, we, up already. Someone he took our belt. Uh, we had the belt out here, but it's Which all one? good. Ah, don't worry. Um, I don't know who it is. Welcome. Thank you. I know you were just doing another interview. Yeah, I was uh, with uh, Mighty Mouse. So the thing is, with me. Yeah. No more Zoom. Those are nice. You like these things? Fuck yeah, those are real nice. Yeah, Zoom. I felt like everyone got um. During COVID times, everyone got a little bit acquainted with Zoom, and that's the standard now. But I'm like, nah, I think this is way better. Oh, you know, with people in person, feel the energy, live, and yeah, it's a vibe. And are you here just as a fan? Just a fan. I'm just a fan. I'm you just, just came to watch? Game. Yeah. Okay. Because I, I remember where I was when I watched UFC 100. I remember where I was where when I watched you? UFC. In my house in uh, Wanganui. Uh, I can't remember the name of the street, but I remember exactly the, the, the house and UFC 200. I was in Auckland at my friend's house and UFC 300. And I'm like, I want to watch it live. Would have been cool to, you know, headline it or something. Okay, I'm okay. just saying. So could I ask, in yeah. your mind, how, mm -hmm. how close was that? I it thought that right, should have no, been. No, like, so I was heartbroken because um, I thought it was us. And I was like, oh, they would announce it. They would announce it. And Tim was holding out because he and Hunter, Shadow Hunter and Dana, they were, like, going back and forth. And then I'm glad because I... I'm glad Tim called me before they announced it, like, I think three minutes before they announced Jamal versus Alex, because if I found out on Instagram, I would have been like, oh, uh, Hunter and Dana would have got calls, because I was, I was ready. I was training In your mind, all was it that. a done deal? I thought it was done. I was like, oh, I'm, I was training. Wow. I went For to how Switzerland. Long? I was training probably about four weeks, three weeks. I was on. No way. Yeah. Why Switzerland? Mm, I had something to do over there, okay. and I was still training anyway, but um, yeah, so for me, I just didn't want to be scrolling and find out, but they called, Tim called me and was look, it's not you. I'm like, what? And I was, the, the pay-per-view just finished, and he called me, and I'm just like, what? No. Because I was expecting like a trailer to drop, being like announcing it, and then I, then I found out, and I was like, oh, man. So I was like, whatever. And yeah, it is what it is, but yeah, we'll do it later on when the time permits. And, and how do you feel about the reason why it's not happening? I'm not sure. I can't see your eyes. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> They're not built like us. It's different. Like, everyone now... Okay, so I wasn't even fully healed. I'm taking time off. And when the opportunity presented itself, I was like, fuck, it's history. It's, this is monumental. UFC 300. Fuck it, let's do it. But again, they're not built like us. Myself... Alex Volkanovsky, Kamaru Rusman, we were guys when we were champions. Just fuck it, just fight. Fuck the belt. I got belts at home. Even fans, whenever they see me now, they're like, oh man, I hope you get that belt back. I'm like, bitch, they're at the house. I'm a two time middleweight champion. Soon to be three. It's at the house. It's not about the belt. I'm coming for the heads. Right now, it's about fighting while you can. But he's young. He's done what he's done, got this far, become champion, so good on him. But yeah, it is what it is. You want to hold on to that belt and be cozy, that's, that's your prerogative. But yeah, when, when we were doing that, fuck the belt. It was just about fighting the best, and that's it. I, I saw uh, some comments from him on a podcast where he was like, I get to decide when this fight happens. You don't get to decide. Did you see these comments? And nah, I don't really follow the guy. He follows me, but I'm like, I guess that's maybe him trying to... I, I think he's actually a fan. He just has to fight me, but he's actually a fan. He's a big fan. A I fan of yours? Him. Yeah, of course. I paved the way for him. You know, without me, one of the great African champions, he wouldn't be here. He's the fourth African champion in this game. So kudos to him. So I pay, we paved the way for him. So he's a fan. He's a fan of what we've done. Did you try to say, okay, I can't do the DD? Give, give me Alex, because at that point, you know, it was still yeah, Alex, some that's, rumors. That's, that's always there, but watch this. I think after I fought uh, in Miami, I said I have probably less than 20 fights left in my, in my career. So. 20? I said 20, That's but again, okay. I'm very optimistic. I, I think I can, I, I'm, I'll, you know, I'll fight forever if I could, but you know, father time gets everybody. But I know I only have a certain amount of fights left. If I, okay, if I beat Alex next, fight him, knock him the fuck out again, what are they gonna say? Okay, no, it's 3-2 now. Okay, let's, let's best out of seven. Right, right, right. Like, who am I fighting for? It wasn't, about, it wasn't about fighting for anyone else but me. I always fought this guy, and I knew I could beat this guy. I always knew I could beat this guy. So I was like, I just want to prove it to myself I can beat him. And I beat him, 
in the best way possible on the biggest stage and the story behind that about showing what, what someone can accomplish when they put their mind to something, even after they've been knocked down three times, that was the main thing. So whatever people want to say, like, oh, we'll do this, do that, even for him, you know why they're asking for the fight? Because they need it. You know why I don't ask for the fight? Because I don't need it. And in their hearts, all the poor Todds out there, in their hearts, they know, they know who's laughing best. And that's why I sit pretty and I'm enjoying myself. So again, I did what I did. That saga's over. It's cool. I've got some other beef to avenge later on down the track. But yeah, right now I'm just healing my... By the time I fight again, maybe if I do, it might be over a year. And normally, if I fight within a year, that's four fights. Yeah, yeah, no, it's crazy. The, so this, for me, is my time off. And people go, 2027, I'm like, you're fucking dumb. <laughs> It's stupid. So for me right now, I'm like, uh, it's, it's been a while, watching my friends do their thing. Like even Kevin say, seeing him about to be his third fight in the UFC. So watching him get into this stuff, it's fun to watch because I see him in his first UFC, uh, you know, when he check in, all that kind of stuff. It makes me appreciate, you know, like, oh, fuck, he's enjoying this for the yeah, first yeah. time again. I'm like, fuck yeah. You can take it for granted a little bit, right? Sometimes you get yeah. used to it, yeah. So yeah. seeing him go through his... You know, motions in the UFC. I tell, I tell, I'm like, yes, enjoy this shit. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm enjoying it. And I'm off right now, taking time off. But seeing my boys do their thing, Carlos, him, I enjoy watching them climb. It makes me enjoy it and really like, fuck yeah. Because I'm going to miss the shit when it's gone. Well, right now it's quality over quantity every fucking time. You, you think it's Perth? Mm. August? Mm. Next no, time. Uh, what's his name? Um, uh, Ersage? I just, I don't know. Oh, Steve Ersig. Yeah, he's Ersig, fighting in Ersig, uh, Ersig. May 4th. Yeah. yeah, so if he wins, hopefully, if he wins, we'll see. But, uh, yeah, it'll be, I don't know. We'll see. Wait, what does he have to do with, meaning that right. he if would... If he wins, then I'm sure he might headline or be on Perth as well. So he's, Yeah, I mean, with all due respect. Of course, I know. He's only, he's new. At yeah, this, yeah, yeah, yeah. You I versus know. DDP is... I know, yeah. But we'll see. We'll see. What, nothing's been put on the table, but I'll talk would to... Would you be okay with that timeline? Because that would be actually 11 I months. fight. I was trying to fight this weekend. Yeah. I was trying to fight this weekend. Listen, I can't hear. Oh. But yeah, I fixed I fix this. I fixed things. Yeah. So Did you have surgery? Nah, little things. Okay. Little things. I don't put it out there, but yeah, I was trying to. Was it bothering you? A little bit. Well, it's fine now. For how long? Yeah. <laughs> Thing is, I put things out there, but not all the time because a smart coach will watch this and be like, ah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, but again, you know, life happens. Life be lifing. Speaking of which, mm -hmm. uh, I have not talked to you since before the Strickland fight. I think maybe New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Meaning New York, uh, June, right after your premiere. Premiere. That's right. Yeah. So it's been a, a lot of things a have happened. Yeah, life me life. So if you don't mind, if, if we could just go back to that, go if back, you don't mind. Let's go back, of course. And actually, go back if you don't mind uh, before the Strickland fight, because I saw that you say you you said I watched your breakdown with your brother after the Strickland fight where you mm -hmm. talked about someone on your team saying when you thought you were fighting DDP in mm -hmm. September you had this like I'm gonna fuck this guy up I'm gonna mm -hmm. knock him out and then it was Strickland I remember that video that you po you posted and you're like all right bring him in let's about, go yeah. and then that fire kind of like went away a little bit you didn't feel the same animosity mm -hmm. is that is that fair that is that a fair assessment of how you felt going into September? And I'm not trying, because, you know, people might see this and be like, oh, he's making excuses. I'm not, I'm the one asking this question. But because there was not that, that beef that you had with DDP, was it hard for you to get up for the Strickland fight? Nah. Okay. No, nah, he was a worthy opponent, formidable. Um, but yeah, I just, again, I had to take time off because four fights in 14 months as a champion, 14 months, that's a year and two months. Like I said, if next time I fight, it might be just under or just over a year. I would have fought four times already. But for me, it's just a lot. It's not just the fights, it's camps. Camps are hard on the body if you actually train for a fight. So I had to take time off because, you know, health. Health is wealth. And I feel good now. I'm looking after myself. And yeah, uh, I didn't, it wasn't tough to get up for. I was there. I was ready to fight. I don't know if even Eugene said this, and, and I never underestimate anyone, but I never overestimate them as well. But yeah, it was just, it was just a, yeah, it was weird. It was weird. Uh, what was weird? Okay, so they did the open workout, right? 
Yeah. The week of the fight. Yeah. Yeah. And you never do that anymore. Yeah, yeah. I hate those. But you saw I brought these kids up on stage, and then at one point I tried to do a push-up. And some people noticed on Twitter, they mentioned something, but it never really got traction. But again, for me, I just wasn't... Well, you didn't feel the... No, I wasn't, I wasn't really healthy at the time. But again, Strickland and his crew, great game plan. They knew what they had to do, and they got it done. And I couldn't execute properly. I couldn't execute properly, and it took me out of my game. So kudos to him. I give him that. Do you regret taking the fight once DDP fell through? Hell no. Hell no, hell no. No, no. No regrets. I just wanted to fight. No regrets. <laughs> but, um, yeah, for me, I just wanted to fight. That was it. And I, Why did you want to fight so much? You had just fought in April. Because I know when this is done, yeah. I can't do this anymore. So I was trying to do as much as I can. As much as I can. The quantity of fights. But, again, it's not about quantity. Now that fight taught me. And chill. It's about quality. It's about quality of fight. So now it's been how long? Since September... By the time I fight again, it'll be, again, just under or over a year. Yeah. Normally, I would have fought three or four times, but nah. If I just do a, qu a lot of quantity fights, but I'm all losing, that's bullshit. Nah, I want to have quality fights and really enjoy this shit. Soak it in. Each camp really, like, just soak it in each moment and then really give great performances that people can look back on and be like, oh, shit. That was that one. Strickland one was his moment as well. It was just his moment again. And I, I said this on um, Theo Vaughn's podcast. You just have to realize, ah, it was something Dave Chappelle said on this fucking special, the the closer, I think. I can't remember. But um, pretty much you have to be just, you have to know when it's your moment. And you have to also be humble enough to know when it's someone else's moment. And that was his moment. The fight week, everything was just like lined up for him. And that was his moment. Were you shocked at the reception for him in Australia? Nah, they're racist. Yeah. That's what you felt it was? Yeah, no, just also, I think it's just me and them, and I don't know, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't my week, it wasn't, it was just him, and he's, uh, he knows how to pander, he's a great politician, mm. put it that way, he's a great politician, but um, yeah, it was just his week, his moment to shine, and what a ring, I mean, <laughs> amazing, amazing what he's done, great. I love it. I appreciate the, the sarcasm, I think. Nah, I'm being serious. Come what on. rain? What are he you talking about? He beat Israel Adesanya. Yes, yes. Fuck all that. He beat me. That's, That's true. bigger than anything. Well, it was shocking Fuck to watch. Fuck the belt. It's like, it's like when Bisping beat Silva. Right. Like, that was huge, him being champion and stuff. But being Silva was fucking like, his moment, you know? Yeah. What a rain, though. Could Amazing. I ask, could I ask about a few weeks before the fight? Yeah, what happened? comes out after the fight that there was an incident driving. Oh, the thing. Yeah, 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 So then everyone was like, ah, look, see, he wasn't taking it seriously. Uh, it wasn't that. Look. I've not heard you talk about this, so. I, oh, I guess I can now. But pretty much I had dinner, two cocktails. I was riding home, and then something happened. Even the judge, shout out to Peter, because the New Zealand justice system tried to do me dirty. And also, after me, there was a famous uh, Warriors play. who had one of those, but worse. But again, that gets swept under the rug because... And when you say Warriors, you don't mean Golden State Warriors, Warriors right? is in like the... The rugby? Yeah. Got it. Okay. League. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably shouldn't be saying this. But I'm just saying as it. I won't say the name. But yeah. Sure, sure. It was just swept under the rug because, you know, New Zealand likes to protect their... But when it's us, Dan, MMA, it's still not traditional sports. And when they finally thought they had me, like, oh, we got them, so we got to parade them. All I knew was, like, the day I was going to court, I had to look good because I knew those cameras were going to be there. So I was there, made Charles on, and shout out to the judge because he was smart enough to realize, look, you've done this. You're 34. You've never had a criminal conviction. I don't think you're a bad person. Blah, 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 blah. And what I didn't like, though, was just the, again, I couldn't say anything while it was happening, but just the bullshit because it became like, oh, he was twice over the legal limit. It's like, bro, I was .07 over the legal limit, like, literally that much. I was fine. I was going home after dinner with my friends, and yeah, I made a mistake. And I don't make those mistakes often, because normally I have uh, poorly or someone to drive. If I'm going to go out, yeah. I have them look after me. But I was just having dinner, and I thought I was fine, so I wasn't, and I made that mistake. And now I've learned my lesson. And yeah. so what were the repercussions as a result of that? Like, did you have to pay a fine or yeah, license? Fine, low, yeah, all that kind okay. of stuff. Yeah. And, and uh, I know you've had sometimes like a contentious relationship. You've talked about tall poppy syndrome and whatnot. You don't like people. W what like was the reaction when this news came out where people were like, ah, I see, told you. Yeah. This I mean, guy's trouble. No, it could be anything. People would just find a reason not to like you. They just need something. So when they finally got that one, and I knew what it was, 
they uh yeah they really uh phoned it in and again after me there's been more after me but they sweep that under the rug but it, you, this was like a few weeks before strickland is there a case to be made that you shouldn't have been drinking at all no nah, i'm an adult right. i have like two cocktails after dinner i'm fine yeah what did eugene say mm, what did eugene say that's between me and him. Okay, fair enough. But for those that said, oh, this is a sign that he wasn't on his game, wasn't taking it seriously, one had nothing to do with the other is the basic. My other fights in the UFC, I've lived my life as an adult, enjoyed myself, taking my job seriously, and I always do. And that fight I did as well. It wasn't about that. Again, no excuses. They just did a good job. They did yeah, a good fair. job of nullifying me and taking care of what they had to. And then look at the open workout, like I said, when I tried to do push-ups, and I was just, it was a weird time. Um, your, your, your customary post-fight shower is mm -hmm. something that you've talked about. Yes. And in that interview with your brother, um, who now is going, I think, by David Adesanya, which That's I like. Name, I like yeah. that. Yeah, he's going yeah. by Israel. That's good. Um, you know, own it. Be proud of it. And it's mm -hmm. a pretty damn famous last name, too. Yeah. Um, you said that it was a quick one. Mm -hmm. You actually said, uh, Sean O'Malley got some flack for this, and I didn't notice it at the time. You didn't. Sh you went to the after party. You didn't shower. Yeah, because, oh, I, uh, yeah, I had to. I had to. You had to go straight. Late. It was late, yeah. O'Malley did the same thing last month, and people were like, well, oh, that's gross. Who cares? It's O'Malley. He just fucking... Yeah, he does his thing. Did. Yeah. No, so apparently it's a thing. But you said, in the shower, I knew exactly what I had to do. Mm -hmm. It was a quick one. I had to do some things. It faced me. I made some calls. I had to make some changes. I did. Can I ask you what those changes were? Yeah. I went to Mexico, fixed some things, and then, uh, yeah. What's in Mexico? Mm, health. Okay. Yeah. Stem cells. Okay. Yeah. So is this what you're it's referring good. to? Yeah. And okay. Some other stuff as well. But again, life happens. But I feel better now. And I, I've, I've, I'm glad I've taken the time to look after myself make sure I'm healthy. That's the main thing. As long as I'm healthy and not trying to fight as often as I can, because that was the mentality when I, when you first get in the UFC, fuck yeah. My first year and a day in the UFC, I had five fights. A year and a day, so 366 days, or 56 days, five fights. Next year, I think four fights, as much as you can. Yeah. Now I'm at the point where I get it. Most champions weren't doing what I do. They fight once or twice a year. But now I'm here, I'm like, uh, quality over quantity, that's it. That's all it's about. So yeah, now it's just about not trying to do as much as I can, but make sure I do the, yeah, I do the, the right things for myself, yeah. Okay, um, I'm, I'm trying to almost go chronologically here because we, mm -hmm. we, we haven't talked. Lot, yeah. uh, in October, obviously, you were in Riyadh for Francis. It was awesome to see you, Kamaru, walk him out, you know? That was awesome. All you guys together, and what a night that was. And I don't want you to necessarily relive all of that, but just, and I know you weren't there in March, right? No. Um, seeing your friend go through that mm -hmm. for the first time, right? We had never seen him rocked, knocked down, let alone knocked out. What did that feel like? I think uh, I talked to Kamara, he put it best. It was like, yo, it's like, to us, that's Superman. So to see Superman hurt, like that really mess. Look, even if it happened to Joshua, I would have felt the same way. Cause you I don't want to see. I don't want to see them go through that. That was a bad knockout. So if Francis did that to Joshua, I would have felt like, fuck, you know. But yeah, it's 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 the game, and still doesn't change any way I think about Francis. He's still Superman to me. He's still the man. He's still a guy that has played his own game, played his own game regardless of what's happened in his life. In his career, he still made his own choices and did. Even when everyone fumbled the bag, fumbled yeah. the bag, I said, "Chill, let him cook." And the man cooked. Yeah. yeah so he's here. Yeah, he's not done. Keep watching, because I know whenever it's it's like this whole generation of now they forget. So keep watching and see what he does in the next few years. Yeah. So you're talking about. Um quality over quantity, right? Mm -hmm. And that's a little bit different than what Volk was saying over the last few months, right? He wanted to take the fight in October because he was feeling empty without a fight, for lack of a better word. We get it. Yeah, we get it. So I'm, I'm glad he was vulnerable about that as well. When you saw him up there after that fight in October, yeah. could you relate to what he was saying? Of course, we get it. I'm a fighter. Like, I'm a guy, you know, because right now, 
we can fight. We want to keep doing it, but sometimes it's not available, so you just take it when you can. So that's why I'm really grateful when I was champion. I was able to just fight as often as I can, and the UFC granted me that. But, um, yeah, I think he's smart enough to know what he needs to do now. That's my boy. Uh, he would have been here this weekend, but he has some other stuff to handle. Uh, but, yeah, I never want to... What's the word? I never want to... Um, Hmm, how do I formulate this? Nah, I think he's on the right path. Me and him as well. Just quality over quantity. Because you don't need to... Because it's we're going to miss this when it's gone. And we, like what he said, you just need something to do. I need right. something to do. So, I, again, I golf now. Oh, wow. I started golfing in September because I was something different to like sink my teeth into. I'm not going to say I'm fucking good, but I learned pretty quick. You like it. Coachable. I love it. Because, again, what we do is heavy. Very heavy lifting, very heavy load. So when I'm on the green, I'm the guy on the green that'll take my shoes off so I can earth, uh, so I can connect to the ground. And then it's a slow-paced game. You just walk around, driving in the cart, and it's fun. So something else I can obsess over that's different from fighting takes me away from that. But then keeps me busy. So, yeah. And I started fishing as well off my skis. Little things. Little things just kind of just keep me occupied while I'm not fighting because... Do you feel like you needed this to kind of like remedy your soul? Like These things are very calm. They're very, you know, yeah. almost like... Um, hypnotic in a way like yeah. fishing is just did you feel like you needed that uh probably i think just i didn't just slow down yeah with training i think camp camp is fucking brutal on the body and i train quite a lot but like camp itself would just wreck you break your body down you rest fix it back up and then again and again and again so where's the body down the body i'm only human there's only so much i can take so yeah it was good for me to take this time off and just let my body <sighs> decompress in, in the documentary, you meet with a lady, the opening scene, it's great. Your relationship with her, a, a therapist? Would, yeah. Is that what you would call her? She calls her? herself a possibility manager. She doesn't like to call herself a therapist. Okay. Mm. Possibility manager. Never mm. heard that. Do you still talk to her? It's been a while, like probably over a year. But again, I'm grateful because I've had the tools. What you need, it's like medicine. You don't want a doctor who's going to try and keep you sick mm. so they can keep making money off you. So even if you, people don't understand what therapy is, which is why... I'm glad I was able to like express that in my movie. Even someone like Sean could benefit from it because I saw the clip of him in his car like, oh man, this and that, right around, around, fucking sad. I'm like, bro, even when he beat up Sneeko, that's not a healthy person. I'm like, bro, as a kid, you're fucking trying to knock him out. That's not a healthy person. And he's the kind of guy that he wants to burn things down sometimes because he, he's got everything he ever wanted, but he doesn't feel happy because of what's inside. I've been there and I know what it's like. So I knew the work I had to do for myself when I made my UFC debut and I went home and I was depressed. Right. I was like, well, I'm so happy. What, should, I should, what am I sad about? But again, it's what's inside. So I had to go. And even old Sean would have laughed at the song that's in the car, like, oh, man, I'm fucking sad. But it's, it's growth. When I, saw, I was actually like, that's vulnerable of him. But he should watch my movie. He probably learned something from it. I but was again, just wondering if I've, I've talked to someone after Sean. Nah, I had the tools. I, oh, well, I had my people. But also I had the tools that I needed to, you know. I got the tools I needed from Janet mm. to help me in life. So there'll be a point... Life happens. I don't know. Fucking knock on wood. Someone who I really love might pass away and then it just sends me into a spiral and I'm just like, okay, I know. And then I go see her again. Mm -hmm. But you don't want someone that, say, if you go to a, if you go to a therapist or, a psych, or whoever that wants to keep talking about your problems and never really gives you any solutions and you just sit there and on the couch and, oh, I feel blah, 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 blah. Find someone else. Right. Again, find a doctor that's not trying to keep you sick. Find a therapist that's trying to help you, give you the tools. Because she'll be like, right, is there anything else you need from me? I was talking to her for a few weeks after that. I was like, well, I think that's it. Cool. I'll bounce. Maybe six months later, something happens. Hey, yo, can I talk to you? Boom. And then we link up again. We'll talk for another maybe four sessions, five sessions, six sessions. After that, if there's nothing to talk about, I feel like I got the tools I need. So since it's been over a year... And I, I talked to her actually maybe two months ago when I think uh, life was kind of, but I didn't really have a session, just talked to her. And I right. said, like, let's link up. But then again, the tools she's given me, they work. And I can use it to like actually help my life improve and talk myself down from situations. I, I was thinking of this a couple of times, especially leading up to the Toronto fight between Strickland and DDP. I was like, mm -hmm. I wonder what Izzy thinks about this sort of cult of personality that has been born where Sean Strickland who, let's be honest, you know, when, 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 when he was, you know, just an up-and-comer, when Tim was representing him in Paradigm, yeah. he was just a guy on the roster. Mm. Now, all of a sudden, you know, I'm sure the fans are going to get mad at me for saying this, but, like, he's up there on the dais waxing poetic about 
politics and trans and and, and people love it and, mm. and they adore it and they're jumping down to try to meet it. and it's like yeah. none of this really happens unless that result happens in September mm. and so I'm wondering if you no, thought I, th like, I think it still does I think it still does because even now he lost his fight lost the belt but he's still yeah because now the train has left the station now he's like he's yeah. become this superstar yeah. to many people and I'm just wondering if there was any part of you that was like man nah fuck no okay me hell no come on man you know me better than that well do you know what my question is if any part of me was like ah oh, if I didn't let him beat me, he wouldn't be there. No, nah, hell no. Again, that was his moment. Okay. That was his moment. Do you get annoyed when you see this? Hell no. Why? I don't know. Nah, hell no. Do you have animosity towards him? No. Animosity, no. He apologized to my face, but again, he goes on camera and does what he does. But again, I... Uh, he apologized patient, for what? Man. For talking about your family? Yeah. But so then it, me, I'm like, that's ah, all good. But then he and DDP go back and forth, and I see what happens, and I... A little scrap they had, that was funny. But um, Why was yeah. it funny? Because dish it but can't take it. Meaning, oh, the, 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 the pre-talk. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So it was funny to see, ah, noted. Saying you'll go there? No, no, just seeing it. That's okay. all, yeah. yeah. What did you think of the actual fight? <sighs> it was good. Did you think DDP won? While you were watching? Just, it was, yeah. Uh, yeah, while I was watching, I think he just edged it out, which was, like, cool. Did you have any feelings seeing that guy hold the belt? There was none of you? I think it was his time as well. Okay. You have to know when it's your time. I, like, I don't need the belt. I got two belts at home. Sure, I'm a sure. two-time middleweight champion. That'll never change. No one ever take that away from me. So I don't need belts to prove who I am. Beating, like, me, I'm me. I'm Israel Isisoyan. Like that will never, ever change. So, yeah, uh, no feelings about it. It's his time. Let him hold it as much as he can. Let him parade with it. That's what they do. Because they want to fight and risk it every fucking time. Because every time you fight, you risk losing that. But I never cared about it from the get-go. That's why even when I got the belt after uh, UFC 2, 3, 6 or whatever, I was like, this is nice. I finally got it. And I remember it feels the same. Because I always felt I had the belt. So it never changed me. If it was going to change me, if I was going to change, I would have changed a long time ago. But nah, still the same energy. And so um, you could make the case that him winning was the best thing for you because that's DDP. the fight. Yeah. yeah, right? If Strickland wins, maybe they go to Hamza. To still, there, uh, still, still there. Sure, but yeah. this is fresh. There's a history there. And so could I ask? But people, like a, people like a revenge story. Sure, sure. No, 100%. Me and Pereira. You, you versus Strickland, you versus DDP are two gigantic money fights. Yeah. But just because we hadn't seen that one, July of last year, when you go into the cage, mm -hmm. do you regret any of that? Hell no. Oh, no. Still stand on that. Yeah, I still stand on that. That and got again, intense. Well, I mean, I knew what I was going to do. I told my boys I was going to do this, and I was like, watch this. Because it's like inside jokes between me and my close friends. I'm like, watch what I'm going to do. And it's fun for them because they're like, oh, shit, he's about to do it. He's about to do it. And when you say do it, what do you mean by that? Just say what I said in the cage because I knew exactly what I wanted to do. And I knew where he was going to go, so I was like, let me take it there. So, yeah, it's fun. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we've because who calls a fucking white guy a nigga? Yeah, <laughs> fucking like on the pay per view, I'm like, <laughs> and he's standing there like, oh, I, th I think he was kind of rattled, but it's whatever. He gets over it pretty quickly. Yeah, mm. um, that was you know we've seen Rampage and Rashad, we've seen, but that one that was, was different, a different uh, level. And again, oh well, you're a real African. Let me know. <laughs> right. <laughs> would would yeah. you would you like for this fight to like would it be better for? Nah, so that mm, if I'd love to, but I just know it's amazing that you know what I'm gonna ask you. Yeah, I know we've talked. Yeah, about, yeah. You know, we've been. Wouldn't that be something? It would be. Dana said I, yesterday. Did you see that? I heard, but I, I'm fucking. I'm not holding my breath, and I just again. I think it can happen, but it's just a lot of red tape because I know. In a lot of African countries, is uh, you got to pay this guy and this commission, talk to this guy, and then this and that. Everyone's trying to get their cut. And the UFC have a lot of money; they can make it happen, but it's just there's a lot of red tape. So, I would have loved to do this. Hopefully, we'll see. We'll see what happens. There's nothing signed yet. Nothing's been offered. There's only rumors. Sure, Everyone sure, likes sure. rumors. That's yeah, the yeah. thing. Oh, this and that. Look, I don't have to headline a fucking perf. Alex is there. Dan's there. You know. Some of us can headline it, but I'm like, yeah, we'll see. Um, if it happened in South Africa, would you mm -hmm. be okay with that? Of course. That's my people. Mm -hmm. Our piano. That's my people. I bet you they're my people. I know that for you a fact. You think you'd get cheered more than him? I don't care about cheers. Okay. They're my people. When I go there, when I touch South Africa, they're my people. Trust me. Like, you'll see. When I, when I go to South Africa, 
I'm more in touch with the culture in South Africa than he is. I can guarantee you that. How, how do you know that? I mean, that's where he's from specifically, right? Yeah, the people, the people, they tell me, the people know. I go there, I can, not even the language, just body language, the dancers, the, the vibes. When I'm there, they'll know. And they tell me, like, I'm their people. Hmm. Yeah. That would be insane. I, I would think like you could do a soccer stadium. Easy. Bro, we could you, fucking sell that. It would be the whole moment where you're like, Ali Frazier type yes, thing. Yes, yes. Yeah, rumble in the jungle. I feel like it's right there. Yeah, Francis didn't happen. get it. Camaro didn't get it. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. I don't hold my breath. Even if it's not for me, it's for later on. But we'll see. There's a lot of great African fighters coming through. Okay. Yeah. Um, do you do you talk to, like, is Eugene a part of the discussions on when you fight? Like, do, does he need to give you the... The blessing, he, he, you know, I remember him saying mm -hmm. the, uh, the move to 205, that was in the back of the bus, you guys had the talk, That was right? a side mission, yeah. Sure, sure, but I'm just saying, like, do you, need, do you feel like you need to get his green light? I don't do things, it's not just me, this is, a, I'm in the cage by myself, but it's yeah. a team sport, you know? We have a team of us that gets me ready for a fight, so, yeah, well, I guess I have to, he has to get blessings or, like, we all have to be on the same page, put it that way. Mm. Our whole team has to be on the same page. We're going to do this, cool. Let's roll. Yeah. Comes up Whitaker. Yeah. Saudi. I like that. Why do you like it? Because I want to see what he can do. I'm excited. I like Hamza. You're like talking that. about? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see what he can do with actual like at middleweight against a tough guy. I've seen him fight Kamaru, and I watched that fight. I was like, Yo, Kamaru fucking had him. You know, if that was five rounds, that might have been a different fight. And again, Gilbert Burns was the one that made me kind of respect him because it showed his heart. I think he got dropped, came back, and won that fight. You know. Uh, so, yeah, I'm excited to see what can happen in that fight. And then, yeah, we'll see what happens. That is a big one. Um, so, that, okay, we'll see how it all plays out with you. But as far as this weekend is concerned, what is your relationship like with Jamal? And He's cool. That's my boy. Uh, did, he, did he reach out to you? Or did, have you known each other before? We've known just, each other before, uh, way before that, for a couple of years now. But, um, yeah, he reached out just to talk shop, you know. When, once this fight was made? Nah, just, you know, some cooking recipes to change, you know. But was it, like, in, in recent days or weeks or months? Yeah, like a few weeks ago. I think okay. he mentioned it. Yeah, he said he reached out just to talk. You know? Yeah. Who else has been in there more times with Alex than me? Sure. Exactly. And, again, I'm the guy that I know how to touch him. Every time I fight him, I rock him. I beat his ass till he gets me because he's got a strong spirit and he knows how to recover well and he's got that fucking nuke. So then, I had to, you know, fucking cut the cords on that. But, um, yeah, talking to Jamal, he's on the right track. Yeah. Uh, are you surprised he's coming back so soon after an Achilles? Nah. Again, people like Jamal, they're fighters. They don't, oh, my foot's sore. I can't fight. Like, fucking do pussy. It's like, nah, you want to fucking be the best? You fight. Everyone's always injured. There's always something. Right. There's always something. When the next time I, before I fight again... Through camp, there's something I'll hurt myself. But well, I'm not gonna, I've never pulled out. I've never said no to a fight because we show up. I'd only ever pull out if it was like, fuck, I can't walk. I can't actually walk. Two weeks before the fucking Pereira fight in Miami, you saw the video where I fucking did my knee. Mm. And I went to that fight camp with a sleeve and I was trying to hide it through the, when the countdown people were filming and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, it's not, it's not an option unless I can't walk like, and I, I'm actually incapable of fighting, then I'll pull out. But till then, if I can walk, I can ball my fist up. Yeah, sweet. Let's roll. What's the most injured you've ever been going into a fight? Mm, I almost pulled out of the uh, Brunton fight, but I took a week off and let my, my knee heal at the time. And funny enough, it's the same knee I rocked same him knee. with. Yeah. So I let it heal for a week and then came back and I was like, okay, it's working, it's working, then let's go. Yeah. What was it? What was the injury? I can't even remember. So okay. long ago. So long ago. Yeah, that was there's, always, there's always something. I've heard Bro, at the MRI place I go to, they're like, I keep saying, just give me a card so I can get like 10 and yeah. you get one free. Because I've been there so many times, sit there, don't move. And they say I take really good pictures because I stay really still. I'm like, yeah, sure. But yeah, I've been in those things so many times now in the last year. And I don't put a lot of this stuff out there because I don't need sympathy. I'm not trying to fucking, oh, this is sore, this is sore, that's it. Nah, it happens. We're all fucking hurt. But you show up and fight. That's what we do. We're fighters. Have you had surgery? Okay, yeah, a few years ago, yes. Going into which fight? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so even, even, 
even if it's a long time ago because you just know. don't want anyone targeting that. Exactly. Not okay. targeting it, but I just don't need them to know exactly what my business is. That's my business. That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. Um, People put too much shit out there, so I'm like, nah. Nah, it was sensitive information. What about the final boss, though? That's cool. How? I've, again, I try to download it to watch it on the plane, uh, but it won't let me on did Netflix. You, you didn't watch it live. I didn't even know it was on Netflix live. No, 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 it wasn't Netflix. P oh, actually, uh, you're, you're in uh, New Zealand. Zealand. I don't oh, know. Maybe, I don't know. But I didn't watch it live. But, but the, the, how good was he in the, in the build-up? Dropping it, I'm talking yeah. about The Rock, of course. Yeah, of course, yeah. uh, for, for those that may not, you know, they get mad when I talk about wrestling sometimes. It's still real to me, ah, damn it. <laughs> Timbo, only I wanted to talk about with me was yeah. wrestling. He's such a mark. But uh, <laughs> mark. Uh, The Rock, like bringing back old school Hollywood rock mm -hmm. with the F-bombs and everything. Yeah. Wasn't that shit good? It's, it's I love cool. it. I, I think um, it needed it. The game needed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A resurgence in a way. And even though I met uh, the King, King Koda, she, she's a teammate of mine, my Irene's sister, came to the gym. Meta, chopped it up. Uh, eventually, I'll do it once. I think once or a couple of times, but I won't make it a thing, like a weekly thing. You I think like you'll to, do it? Just like Cameo, like the way Mayweather did, just oh pop in and pop God, out. That'd yeah. be sick. Just for fun. And now it's easier than ever. They're under the same Fused. umbrella. Yeah. TKO. It'll be fun. While you're fighting or post-fighting? After. After? After fighting. Okay. Can I ask, what do you think of uh, Jake and Mike? Oh, the fight? Yeah. Hey, man, do what you got to do. People are mad about this. I mean, if Jake beats Mike Tyson, you beat a 58-year-old man. But if you lose to Mike Tyson, you lost to a 58-year-old man. Right. I think it's a lose-lose situation, but... For Jake? Of course! Oh, stress. Two yeah, seconds. Yeah, no problem, no problem. With um, Jake, knowing him, there's always a method to his madness. Because when I first met him after the Nate Robinson fight, that's when I realized, oh, he's serious about this. He actually wants to fight. Look what he's done. I think he's good for the game brings eyes to it and all that but you know this fight is it's a crazy fight and mike tyson looks like he's actually like getting up for this fight he's as he says he's awakening the beast who he who he was because he you know he had to shut that down but um yeah but just the age gap hey man it's not me fighting man. no i know but yeah, like would you watch it or will you watch it fuck yes fuck yes i'm gonna watch who it who do you think wins i don't know i'm not a psychic okay we'll watch <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so for this, you're just watching. Can I ask, like, how do you think this main event goes? Because the one thing that worries me about Jamal is the, Achilles. The Achilles, like, yeah. yeah. Again, I knocked out Alex with a fucking fucked up MC, is it MCL. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, but he's. I mean, he he's obviously going to target it, just like what happened to Chris, right? Yeah. Chris Weidman. Mm. Wait, what happened? Well, meaning when he came back and fought uh, Brad Tavares, Tavares, who's not known oh, to be, yeah, you know, see, just like attack the leg. leg. Yeah. It's like, we all know. Same reason why Alex you're not always does anyway. He always attacks the leg. So, um, Do you, are you worried about I like about Jamal's that? memes, though. That was fucking funny. He's funny on, like, TikTok and the reels. Yeah, yeah. You see that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, making fun of him, like, oh, yo. It's like, we was talking about this is what people think 300 is going to be like. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The skits. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it is what it is. But Jamal, I know. He's got crazy knockout power. Like, after seeing the, um, there was a crew fight, but it was the Johnny Walker one that was the one that made me go, holy shit. Because he hit him on the dome, on the temple, and had him, like, shut off. And he grazed him as well, like, skimmed on the fascia. But, uh, yeah. Look, I fought Alex many times, and I know how to touch him. I've rocked him many times, and I've knocked him the fuck out. Jamal could do the same thing. But also, Jamal knows, be careful because of his leg, not even the leg, leg kicks. Like, it's just there. Alex right. knows how to fucking hit you with those leg kicks. He knows how to find it every fucking time. And if he hurts you with it, he'll find a way to try and knock him out. But I think, yeah, I think Jamal gets it done this weekend. But either way, it's going to be a crazy fight. I can't wait to be there live front and center. Before it's all said and done, you think you fight Alex again? Now that I, he's champion. Why? Different, you know, different. 3-2, and then no, what? No, different belt, different thing, you know. Why? Okay, so you don't feel it. I have only a few more fights left in my career, okay. less than 20. <laughs> I don't want to spend the same time trying to fight the same guy to please everyone else. I just want to prove I could beat him to myself. I've done that. That's why he's like trying to fight me because they need it. Sure. I'm up. They need it. I don't. Do you have the number in your mind, how many fights left? No, but I know it's less than 20. No, sure. I know, but that's a big, that's a big number. Is it? I mean, eh, 20 is a For you guys, yes. But sure. again, for me... We'll see. We'll see. Who knows? Fuck, I could... 
Who knows what happens when I leave here? Who knows what happens next year? Who knows what happens? Like, something could happen. I'm just like, yo, I'm done with this shit, and I'm out. So who knows what happens, but and in the meantime, while I'm here, I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to give quality fights. And yeah, I'm really going to soak it all up, the whole thing. Are there names that you must fight in your mind? I got This has to happen? Nah, if Kamza beats Rob, yeah, I want to test that. If he beats Rob, um, I'm going to get Strickland again. I'm definitely going to get him again. Uh, those are pretty much two of the only names I can think of. Anyone else that pops up? Drickus. Drickus. Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, that's, yeah, yeah. that's given. That's yeah, so that's three at least. That's given, yeah. But we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Man, you and, uh, you and Hamza would be huge if he beats Rob. Those are like three gigantic money fights. Yeah. Not everyone has those at their disposal. Guess what that is? Yeah. The common denominator. Right. Fuck the belt. It's right. about me. So, yeah. Again, look at Strickland. He fucking got offered uh, apparently 200K to fight Costa after being the champ. But again... What a ring. Amazing. Crazy, man. Fuck. I mean, after he... I mean, I guess that's good money, but I thought he would be getting paid more than that, even without being a champion, because I know. Fuck. That's... I'm not a champ, and fucking... <laughs> I have a feeling it's a little more than 200K when you're not a champ. couple. Yeah. couple. Yeah. If you never fight for the belt again, would you be okay with that? I go fuck the belt. Right. Fuck the belt. I've always said that. Right. Like, again, when people see me, I go, oh, I hope you get the belt back. I'm like, nah, I'm going to get their heads. Because the belt will come. I never chase the belt. Never chase money. It always comes. I just focus on winning, fighting the best who are here right now. That's it. And then when it's all said and done, I'm like, cool. I fought that guy, that guy, that guy, that guy, that guy, that guy, that guy. Like, even right now, middleweight, who's the best that's ever, like, being as active as me, or even in the UFC, or fought as much, never turned on a fight, showed up every fucking time. Me. Yeah. And just curious, you know, now that you have this newfound, perhaps, relationship with John Jones, mm. when the recent thing happened with him, did you maybe, as opposed to in the past, reach out and say, like, hey, man, hope, hope all is well? Do you have that kind of friendship? Yeah, or? he's good. He's good. Um, but I was just happy that happened. It was, again, an act of God, randomly. It was never meant to happen, but we're at the right place, right time. And I liked the way people um, embraced it after it happened. People oh, it was like, amazing. Oh, it made me smile. This and that. I'm like, good for you. I yeah. love that. Yeah. But what happened recently with the drug tester? Like, do you reach out to him? Do you, no, are, why? Do you guys a, still talk? Big, do you have any? We have to, but we don't really. He lives in Albuquerque. I live in New Zealand. Yeah, DM. Yeah, like a little bit here and there, but nothing crazy. I'm not like, oh, how's it going, buddy? No. If I see him, it's love. Okay. Yeah. It's love. Do you yeah, know, like three, four years ago. I know it's beef. Yeah, it but that's like, life. Again, that's yeah. life. Like even Dan said about Charles Oliveira. I didn't even know they had beef, but then now he's like, I respect him. And Dan had beef with like everybody. He wants to fight every lightweight. He's that guy. But yeah, so beef can turn to love, and love can turn to beef. It happens. Yeah, that's life. That's one that I didn't know would turn out like this. Like Neither. it was just so personal. Or at least it seemed like it. It was. And you, but you guys really life. went to life happens. Life happens, and we we talked off the camera. So yeah, I don't even like talking about it now because I feel like you guys want to do this shit, and then you get the click. And no, I don't headlines. do anything. I don't click anything. Me. You guys. Uh, uh, these guys are just exactly. But again, headlines. They always make headlines and headlines. But you don't do headlines though. I don't do anything. You don't I do head lies. Head lies. No, but know. literally, I don't do anything. I don't write for... Well, what do I do? No, nothing. I'm not saying you don't. <laughs> I'm just saying, yeah, yeah, MMA fighting. Nah, listen. You guys outside. With all due respect, mm. I do my show. I don't write for the website. I know. I have no I know. affiliation I know. in right, that regard. Yeah, now, I'm know. not trying to say that I'm embarrassed. I know, of, I know, of course. But of course. I, I feel very strongly about that. And then it's mm. like the clickbait stuff. No, no, I know. Hey, you don't do... What do you say? Gotcha journalism. I don't do that no, either. I know. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. why I fuck with you. That's no, why no, I know. I know. I don't do it. But sometimes people are like... Uh, I had Joaquin get all mad at me last week. Who's that? My, Joaquin Buckley. He's like, you try to, you try to, ca you know, do you know who he is? Oh, what's his name? Fucking, uh, the guy that Dana ignored his last question. Yes. Uh, he came out really. No, let's, not, let's go. Okay, fine, fine. Love but it's just, I, I just, yeah. like, dude, I, I, I feel like I try to show love to all Come the fighters. Come on, man. You have my yeah. fucking premiere. I've met your family. You took the night off with the missus, Yo. came through. I fuck with doesn't, you, and I'm on your show. I appreciate it. doesn't happen often. Uh, nah, we went to Connor's. We went to Connor's too. Now that yeah. we went to yours, we're like, okay, we got to go to more of these. I used to turn them down all the time. No, you should. I think some of these stories are amazing. Uh, they should be told. And yeah. Did you watch Roadhouse? I have. It was fucking funny. Honestly, just seeing him on there, I was just, and bro, 
I actually surprised. Like, was it the number one most viewed? Yeah, yeah, crime? fifty or something. 50. That's crazy. But he, man. he was actually hilarious in the movie. Yeah, he was. They used him the perfect way. It was just Connor being Connor. But like a little bit turned up. Yeah, you know, he's walking. He's Extra eating sandwiches. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it was I, like every time he was on screen, I laughed. Yeah, just by That's his I mean. It was funny. Yes, it was funny to see. Like, uh, like I don't know. It's it's cool. Yes. Yeah. Would you see like to do follow? something like that? Of course. I've been I've been in talks, but later on, I've turned some stuff down. But sure, later sure, on, sure. We will. Later on. Well, didn't yeah. you turn down? Uh... Doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We'll talk. Yeah. Have people reached out now? Not yet. Not recently. But later on, it will. It's always there. Okay. So they've already. I've made some relationships in Hollywood, and yeah. Later on, after fighting, I do my own stunts, so that helps. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like Connor, too. Yeah, exactly. Um, I'll just ask you two more things, and then we'll let you go, because I appreciate this. Um, no being in Saudi, among all those legends, oh, that, yeah, was, that was crazy. Yeah. Yeah, those pictures were nuts. W what was the one that kind of... Because here you are, this was a month and a half after the tough fight. I'm sure it was inspiring. I'm sure it was humbling. Yeah. Like, it, it was, that photo there... When you guys were all together, like class photo. Oh my god, it's That's insane crazy. with Turkey yeah, in the yeah. middle. Yeah. What What was the interaction, the conversation? Was there anything that left you feeling inspired? This a legend giving you love. You know, I was even just seeing Francis um, do what he did live. I was just like, bro, he inspires me even to this day. <laughs> because of who he is, he just inspires me. But I get what you mean, like people that was out there. Um, I mean, this was the greatest collection of fighters ever. Ah, uh, who was, even like, uh, Prince Nassim talking to him was fucking awesome. Uh, Did Ronaldo, they all know who you were, him. like even the older yeah, guys? I forget sometimes, like, yeah. they watch me. So even talking to Ronaldo was Yo, cool. Yo, Ronaldo was like, hey, I DM'd uh, yeah, Volk. Yeah, Alex, yeah. Nah, crazy. He's a fan of the sport. Crazy. He's a cool guy. Quite tall as well. I was quite surprised. Um, ah, ha, 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 Big Dan, how are yes. you? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> was good. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> He's good. Yeah. Oh, is it, gravy. Just to finish your thought, Ronaldo. Mm -hmm. Uh, what I say? Oh no, it's cool. Just being there. It was Eminem. Like real quick, said what's up. I was like, I gotta get a photo. It's Eminem. Fucking. Did what? you get one? Yeah. I feel like there's not a lot of people you're asking for photos yeah. these days in life. But those moments you have to, because yeah. I'm like, yo, that's that guy. Yeah. Yeah. Freaking legend. So, no, it was great to see you among all those people, especially, like I said, it was uh, after. And the, the, the shot of you three walking him out, yeah, that or was, the, that was the three of you together, you two walking him out. Yeah, was, that was a moment. Gave me chills, one, legit. For like a uh, moment for life, like history. But again, I'm, I'm just blessed, and I feel privileged to be even invited to be part of that. Yeah. You still love this game? Of course. That's why I'm here. Even after I finish, when I don't want to do it anymore, I know and I'll be out, but I'm still going to be a fan of this game. I'm only here as a fan. I'm not fucking fighting this weekend. I'm just a fan of this, and I'm like, I want to be here at UFC 300 live, and I'm blessed enough to do it. I got time. I got a passport. Yeah. It's great. Well, I'm happy for you, man. Thank you so much. As always. Thank you, man. Never, Thank you. Ever a chore, always a pleasure. Yes, I appreciate that. Um, the last style. But the channel is great. Yeah, freestyle still bender still going on freestyle bender on youtube check it out yeah you know the vibes yeah 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 blah, blah, blah. Uh, the thumbnails are great david is great everyone yes. is great Enjoy everyone's great and as we head out we'll send it off properly three two one hey you're the man thank you bless so much, your brother Jesse. no worries really man always love man yes, thank yes, you sir yes, you're the man. easy i like that shirt by the way but those you don't like them oh, you no don't i like them. i like oh, but okay. those right there they're tight thanks for watching we appreciate it very much hey if you like this video Give us the old thumbs up. Subscribe as well. You can get many more of these videos on the channel. So please do that. We would love you forever if you did so.